What is up, Cozy Crew? It's Cozy here in the video for you guys today. Another episode of my advice series, Dr. Cozy, where basically if you guys are having any problems, uh, whether they be small, big, whatever, in the middle, um, if you guys are having any issues, you guys, you know, you hit me up, whether it be in a YouTube PM, hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, literally any way you guys want to contact me, you guys, you know, hit me up with your problems and I try to give you guys the best advice I can. Uh, it's just my advice series. I try to give back to the people that support me the most. And if you guys are having any problem, it really it doesn't matter how big or small, um, I want to help you out. So yeah, it's just, I try to give you guys the best unlicensed advice that I can. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so here's the first letter. Hey Matt, I got another problem for you. I watched all your Dr. Cozy with girls, but there's not my situation. So my situation is, I really like this girl, but my mom and her mom are practically best friends. And I feel like if we date and break up, everything will be screwed up. Uh, what do I do? Okay, so this is, the honestly, with situations like this, where it's like, I don't know if this is gonna affect somebody else, blah, 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 blah. Just, you know, <laughs> you know, life's too short to really be worrying about that you know just take advantage of the situation and go out with this girl if you like her uh, ask her out what could the pop you know there's a lot of problems that could arise but it could happen it's not a thing that's actually gonna happen um your parents are gonna be completely mature about it i guarantee you you know your mom's friendships aren't really based off of yours so i, I think that you're gonna be okay honestly think about the good situations that could actually come out of this um it'll be a lot more comfortable if you go to her house or she goes to your house you know you'll kind of already know like the home environment uh, you already know her mom and you know that's i think that you'll be okay man just you know i would do it i would ask her out if you like her if you think she's a cool person ask her out don't worry if that if you guys are gonna break up you know it's it, it'll be okay um you know both of your moms are definitely mature enough to get past that and uh yeah definitely take just take a shot you know <laughs> you know what's the worst that could happen i mean i've dated people in the past where you know we kind of have a lot of mutual friends so there could be some friendships broken up and there could be some people who you know won't talk to me anymore i won't talk to her anymore and i i didn't worry about it you know i did end up breaking up with this girl and i didn't worry about it because you know if you like somebody you should ask him out you know don't spend time worrying about like what could happen if you guys break up it'll be all right all right on to the next letter okay so i have these friends and one of these friends tends to go for girls that i have been with he's been with about seven of my ex-girlfriends jesus christ uh recently they made a girl that i was with dump me for him i'm afraid they're gonna do the same thing to me with this other girl who is just 100 percent the one however my friends are really persuasive and making me look bad all right so this is like a classic case of toxic friends and just surrounding yourself with the wrong people all these friends that you're friends with you know quote unquote friends i'm gonna be a hundred percent with you right now i'm gonna be a hundred percent real these are not good friends these are toxic friends they're working against you they're trying to steal your girlfriends uh steal your ex-girlfriends and that's just really really messed up dude i think that you should just stop associating with these people stop giving them your reaction stop everything with them just cut them off i know it can kind of hurt to cut off a toxic friend but dude like these these people are not good for you trust me in the past i've had to cut off multiple people because they're just not good all they do is take all they do is you know take away your happiness all they do is work against you and you do not need people like this in your life what these people are doing to you is just absolutely messed up especially the friend that's actually taking your ex-girlfriends and your current girlfriends like no that's just unacceptable you need to confront him about that and be like hey listen dude this is this is some messed up behavior and if he still doesn't fix it if he doesn't make up for it and try to put like i don't know guess like an effort forward to like try to be your friend again and you know make everything good then you know screw him cut him off he's not a good friend he's just a toxic friend like the rest of them and uh, you just need to focus on the right people i'm sure you have friends that don't do this to you friends that you can actually rely on um i would stick with them because obviously these people that you're currently associating with are just working against you and uh, if you think this girl is 100 percent the one then you gotta hold on to her don't worry about your friend trying to take her because it's just it's it's really not worth stressing about i would just you know hold on to her give her the best that you can you know be your the best boyfriend that you can be these people that are trying to take her from you these people that are like trying to work against you i would just stop associating with them um or you know honestly you could just like confront them about it and be like hey listen you need to stop doing this or i'm gonna stop being your friend and if they don't if they don't stop being toxic then cut them off they're, they're not worth keeping your life people like this who are just working against you and you know just always working to, you know mess up what you have going on and taking away your relationships and going with your ex-girlfriends screw those people those people do not deserve your time of day you're too good for that and uh just focus on the people that really matter focus on the people who are actually on your team here obviously these people that you call friends are working against you and it's you know i hate to see people getting treated like that man you deserve better than that and i'm sure you know you do that's why you're here and honestly just with the whole girl thing i think you should let her know what's going on that your friends do this to every relationship that you're in and just tell her that you they're gonna lie to you tell her that people are going to lie to her about who you are and just tell her that you know just give her the inside scoop let her know what's going on and if she's actually the one if she's actually 100 you know your type your 
your person, your girl, then she's gonna understand. And if she doesn't understand, if her opinions are changed based off of what like other people say that she doesn't even know, then she's not the one, man. That's not a type of girl that you hold on to. Just take a stand, you know, confront them about it. Let them know that you're not okay with this. And if they don't change it, if they don't make any effort to change what they've done, then screw them. Cut them off. They're not worth your time and find better friends and focus on the people that really matter, man. These people do not deserve your time and you know that. I'm sure you know that. But uh, yeah, that's basically all the advice I can give there. All right. Well, that's all the advice I'm going to give today on this episode of Dr. Cozy. If you guys enjoyed, definitely hit us up with that like rating. It supports me greatly. Just gets the videos out there and shows that you guys support this series. You know, it just means the world to me. If you guys need any help, whether your problems be big or small, definitely hit me up on all my social media. It'll be up on the screen and linked in the description for you guys to hit me up. Um, You know, just any problem, I will try my best to help you guys. I, I love you guys and I just want to support the people that support me the most. Definitely hit subscribe to join the Cozy Crew if you guys are new and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Stay cozy. If it ain't about a dream, then it ain't about me. Go a couple full weeks without a good night's sleep. Imagination, making musical creation, a journey that I'm facing, plus the paper that I'm chasing. Got me crazy after saying with the lames I see you hating, but there's nothing that you're changing. Thumbs up, I'm maintaining. No complaining when it's raining. I'll be in another zone. Move out my mother's home to a world to call my own.